This is a huge moment in this game. So we set up our play and I just remember thinking, just win the line out boys and the rest will take care of itself. The mall's a, a pretty special place to be fair. It's one of the hardest places in rugby. It's a very sort of a violent, uh, hard thing, you know, we've got hooker's got to throw the ball well, us props or whoever's lifting's got to lift well. Uh, that's a hugely um, cohesive thing to do between eight guys. They obviously didn't go up and it gave us a good chance just to get a good hit in. We've got to set low. You've got to be able to deal with a lot of pressure. As you can see there, the Houston team really attacked us. We went back initially and then we uh, bit through the mouth guard and managed to get it set up and moving towards the try line nicely. And there's some really nice stuff in there. Dom did some, uh, it's a really technical thing, but he dropped his shoulder and sheared away from all those Houston boys. Um, and, uh, once they sort of sheared to our left, I knew that we were in for you know a good drive because they had to reload a lot of their boys back in. and. I mean, screaming at Whopper, get your ass in, boy, and just slapping him, you know, s slapping Big Mike as well, just saying, get lower, boys. Dom, keep driving. Bottle, keep driving, bro. And, you know, once the boys sort of squared up and got all our, our heads in and a bit lower, I knew we were going to score. Happy days from there. Yeah. You know, Whopper just screaming after that and Big Mo, so... Yeah, definitely one to remember for the books. Yeah, you know, a mall is something that you can build a lot of culture around off your Ford pack. If you can score tries and stop them, it goes a long way to winning competition.